practice set eight for each situation determine if it represents an inverse or direct relationship and then solve if you drive 90 miles in 2.5 hours how long should it take you to drive 200 miles well we're talking about a distance increasing we're going from 90 miles up to 200 miles and then we're talking about the time well the longer the distance the longer the time because both quantities are increasing we're going to determine that this is a direct proportion solving this then when we take and compare the original information we have 90 miles traveled in 2.5 hours should equal the new situation which is a distance of 200 miles and the unknown amount of time. Multiplying the diagonal using our cross multiplication with the numbers in it, we're going to have 200 times 2.5 equals 500. Take that result and divide it by the value in the other diagonal to give us the missing component. 500 divided by 90 results in a 5.55 repeating. Rounding this to the nearest tenth, we'll look at the hundreds place, five or greater, will result in an answer of approximately 5.6 hours. In problem number two, it says by going four miles per hour, a farmer can get a field plowed in 3.5 hours. If the speed is increased to five miles per hour, how long should it take to plow the field? Well, we're talking about an increase in speed. And again, experience should tell us when we're talking about the time to get a job done, the time will decrease if our speed is increased. When we have an increase in one quantity and a decrease in the other, we have an inverse relationship. To solve this inverse relationship then, we're going to compare the original speed to the new speed, which is five miles per hour, compared to the new time, which is unknown to plow the field, compared to the original time, 3.5 hours at that four mile per hour speed. Multiplying the diagonal using our cross multiplication with the numbers in it, we have four times 3.5, which gives us 14. We'll take the 14 then and divide it by the number in the other diagonal to give us the missing value. And when you take 14 divided by 5, you end up with a 2.8 hours, less time at a faster speed for the answer to this problem.